Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we're gonna be solving a physics 7C weight interference practice problem. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like. It really helps promote our channel. So this is a problem that we're gonna be solving uh, today. So let's see, Paranoid Boyd owns a narrow one kilometer long strip of land. When two suspicious looking towers are erected, one at each end of his land, Paranoid Boyd becomes convinced that the government is trying to control his thoughts using 150 kilohertz radio waves. He's further convinced that the waves being emitted from the East Tower are um, half a by ahead of the waves being emitted from the West Tower. And the question, there's a little picture there. And then the question is, if Paranoid Boyd wants to ensure that the government cannot control his mind, where along his one kilometer strip of land should he choose to build his new bunker? Show your work. Okay, so as you can see, I have everything um, written down over here. Now, if you would like to work this problem, I will leave a link in the description with like the actual PDF of the quiz. This is a quiz as well as, you know, every other problem that I've been doing. So uh, if you're interested in that, you go ahead and uh, look at the description. It should be right there. Okay, so let's just start working on this problem. So basically we have this, you know, one kilometer over here in between both of the towers. And then we also, you know, somewhere in here, there must be at least one place, according to the quiz, in which we're going to find that the, um, you know, if Paranoid Boy wants to ensure that the government cannot control his mind, basically what we want is destructive interference right? Because if you get destructive interference, then basically these two add each other up to zero. So you basically get no effect of any of the towers whatsoever. So this is what uh, Boyd wants. He wants destructive. And uh, destructive, you know, if we remember correctly from DL, this is 2n plus 1 times pi. So this is our destructive condition. So now let's see. Oh, and we need to find a distance here, right? So let's just set up a distance and let's just say, I don't know, let's just put a point in here. And let's say that this is X. So X is going to be distance to the right of the West Tower. And I don't really need a distance from here to here because, uh, so the distance from the east, uh, from this tower is gonna be one minus X, right? So say if this is X west and this is X east, then X from the east is just one, which is the entire thing, minus x west so i don't think that we're gonna use this one at all i think we're just gonna keep everything in terms of west and that's just gonna be easier now the next thing that we have to do is find the um find lambda find lambda because we're gonna have to put it over here so lambda is we have a frequency so just going back to our equations that we have velocity is equal to frequency times lambda so this means that lambda is equal to velocity divided by frequency. In this case, uh, these are radio waves and radio waves are, um, you know, electromagnetic waves, which basically means they're light. So we're actually gonna use the speed of light here. So the speed of light is three times 10 to the eight meters per second. And then this frequency was given to us, but it was given to us in kilohertz. So this is actually, uh, and then we do zero, zero, zero to take away the kilos. And then this is seconds to the negative one like this. So let's just go ahead and put that on a calculator. So let's see, we have 
3 times 10 to the 8th divided by 1, 1, 1, 1. So that is equal to 2,000 meters or 2 kilometers, which I think I'm going to use kilometers to solve this. But, you know, you go ahead and do whatever. All right, so we have this. So now we can actually start to fill in these blanks. First of all, we do have their faces over here. So we have the zero and the by halves, yeah, east and then west. So this information is already here. If I do west minus east, which you can do whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. You just have to like pick out some way and just be consistent then you're going to get negative, yeah, so west minus is negative pi halves over here. And we know that the total needs to be destructive, so the uh, total has to be 2n plus 1 times pi. Um, you know, regardless of what's here, the total needs to be this. Also, both of the... Um, both of the towers have the exact same frequency. If they have the exact same frequency, that means that they have the exact same period. So because both of them have the exact same period and they are arriving at the same time, that means that this is zero. So now we just have to fill in the blanks over here. So for west, so this would just be minus two pi x west divided by, I'm going to use kilometers, so I'm going to divide by 2. Now, I'm going to be using kilometers, so I just need to be very uh, mindful that my final answer is going to be in kilometers, not in meters. So long as I'm mindful of that, it doesn't matter. And then for the east, my um, distance is going to be minus 2 pi and then 1, because I'm using kilometers, 1 minus x divided by 2. So then this number over here is going to be, uh, so I'm doing west minus east. So this is going to be minus 2 pi divided by lambda. And then I'm doing west minus east. So this is x west, which I'm just going to leave it as x because we are just working with 1. Well, I'm just, well, let's just go with it. Minus this, so 1 minus x west. And then if I combine this, then this is equal to, um, you know, just 1 pi over here, negative pi over here because this divide. And then this is minus minus, that's a plus, so 2 times x west minus 1. So this is what we have over here. And now basically what we have to do is, um, you know, follow along the equation and then just find out uh, what x west is. So I'm just going to write the entire thing down. So starting with this, so minus pi 2x west minus 1 minus pi over 2, and then this is a total, so this is equal to 2n plus 1 pi. Pi's, we can just put them out here. And so this is negative 2x west oh, plus 1 minus 1 half is equal to 2n plus 1. So that means that 2x west, this is minus 1 half is equal to 2n plus 1. And then plus 1, plus 1 half, so this is plus uh, 3 halves like this. Yeah. Yes, yes, this is negative, so it goes away as a positive. And then uh, x west is equal to, we divide by 2, so um, negative n over here. And then um, 
So what do we have over here? <clears throat> Oh, okay, I see what I did. So see, here's the thing. So this plus one is okay because it comes from plus over here, but then this subtraction over here, plus one minus one half is equal to plus one half over here. So plus one half over here, and then that means that this goes to the other side of the equation as a minus. So this is actually plus one half over here. So let's see. And then we have to divide by negative two. So this is just minus n because the two cancels out. And this is gonna be negative one quarter. And this is gonna be our equation for x. Now, just as a reminder for n, n doesn't have to uh, necessarily be positive which actually in this case, you know, at this point, the only thing that we have to do is substitute n's until we find one that is actually over here. So for example, for n is equal to one, x west would be, well, let's just, let's do zero and can be zero. So for n is equal to zero, we have negative one quarter. So that would be um, negative 250 meters. Now this answer isn't necessarily incorrect, but it's not within the domain of like Boyd's, um, it's not within the domain of Boyd, what is it, plot of land? because negative 250 would actually be to the right of this tower. So this answer, you know, it does give us uh, destructive interference. However, it's not within this plot of land, so it actually doesn't work for us. So for n is equal to one, we actually get further into the right because that's just gonna give us uh, negative 1,250 meters, right? So this actually doesn't work as well because now you're just like farther away from like Boyd's actual plot of land. So the answer that actually works is n is equal to negative one. And this one I think is gonna work because uh, if you do uh, negative one over here becomes one minus one quarter, that will give you x west of 750 meters positive, so that would mean that we are actually to the right of the west tower, so this actually works over here. So negative one's the one that does the trick, and this is why I recommend always putting this instead of just um, substituting right away zero, because some students do that, and then they get like a negative answer that's like outside of what we want, and that's like where people start to like get you know, stressed about it and they don't know what they did wrong. And I think that what they did wrong is that they didn't use this equation, so they don't get to substitute ends to see which one's the one that the problem is asking them for. So final answer is uh, seven hundred and fifty meters to the right of the west tower because that's how we defined x west distance final answer and there we go so this was sort of like a good introduction practice problem uh, this is basically how you would fill um, out these guys over here and um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them on the comments down below and I will see you guys on the next video.